guys, I'm Stephanie Brinkerhoff with Hair and Makeup by Steph, and I'm here with Kenra Professional, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through a style for the mother of the bride. So this is going to be very elegant and simple and perfect for a more mature client. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is add a little bit of thickness to her roots, and that's really going to help with the volume. So I'm going to go in with the Kenra Thickening Spray, and I'm just getting this sprayed, mostly concentrating on her roots, but then misting it through her ends a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm just going to do this just through the crown. Okay, so you want this to be pretty saturated in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this blow dried. Okay, so you can see that this added a good amount of bulk and some volume in there, and that's really going to help once we start creating our style. So I'm going to get the bottom portion clipped aside for later, and we're going to do the top first. Okay, so down here, I'm going to leave out the sides. And then I've got my crown sectioned out, so this I'm going to save for the end. Okay, so now we're gonna begin on the crown section. I'm going to go in with the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo, and this is going to just give this a little bit more bulk through the crown. Just work that in with your fingers. So working in U-shaped sections, I'm going to work row by row up towards the top, and I'm just going to back comb, hairspray, and get this curled. So I'm just loosely getting that back combed, spray with the volume spray 25, and then smooth out the exterior. So I'm not doing a ton of back combing. I want this to really remain kind of like fluffy and airy. Okay, and then I'm just going to lightly mist that through the ends as well. And then I'm going to just create a really big, loose curl. So this is a one and a half inch barrel, and I want to make sure that I take this all the way to the scalp and really smooth that out and pull it through the ends. So just something like that. And on the sides, everything is going to get curled away from the face. Okay, so just taking that right up to the root, smoothing that out, and then pulling that down.
So this type of separation that's going all the way up to the scalp, that's what you're going for. Okay, so I'm just softening this out a little bit and then I'll just continue that process throughout the rest of the crown. Okay, and then once I get to the mohawk section, I'm just going to start working in rows, going up towards the face. And then once I reach the point where I want this to part, I'll start working with the sides as well. So right here through the mohawk, I am going to condense this a little bit more, and I'm going to saturate my product a little bit more as well. So once you start back combing through the crown, this type of lift is what you're going for. And then I will still take my heat right on top of that back combing and smooth that out. Okay, now I'm going to start combing my fingers through this really softly. I don't want to take out too much of her back combing. And I'm going to start pulling the crown down a little bit, round out the sides a little bit more.
Okay, and then just right here through the top, I'm just going to go through with the end of my comb and just lightly smooth out any back combing that's showing here on the top. And I just have a few spots that got a little bit kinked, so I'm just going over those lightly with my flat iron. Okay, so I'm just kind of using my comb to shape this, make sure it's nice and rounded. Okay, now I'm going to go in and just comb through some of the heat block spray. This is going to add a little bit of separation and dimension to her curls without weighing them down. Okay, so at this point, I can go ahead and start getting things pinned. So I'm going to start with just the crown back here. And so I'm not including anything on the sides yet. And I'm just going to get this softly twisted. And you want to pin this fairly low. This has to match up with your updo back here, so you don't want to pin it too high. And just while I'm holding that, I'm just going to pull on a couple of these pieces to soften them and to give it a little bit more volume as well. And right here through the top especially, I'm pulling on really small pieces to make this a little bit airier so it doesn't look quite so solid. Okay, and with this shape, you want the majority of your volume on top. So through the back here, I'm being really careful not to make this too big. Okay, and then I can go ahead and start incorporating the sides. Okay, and this is getting pulled a little bit tighter down here by her ears, just to once again make sure the focus of the volume is more on the top. Okay, now we can go ahead and start to get the bottom up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of curl in the ends, just to make this so it's not stick straight. I'm just gonna do this very quickly. Okay, then I'm also going to go in under here, right underneath where I pinned the crown, and just add a little bit of back combing in there. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more of the heat block spray, just to help control some of the frizz. And I'm going to get all of this combed together 
and I'm going to get it twisted over to one side. So I'm just wrapping this across the back. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull on a couple of these pieces to detail this, give it some texture. So just right like that, and then I'll get this pinned on the opposite side. Okay, and then I'll take the ends and just get those wrapped across on the top, going the opposite way. Okay, and then once that's secure, just going to get all of these ends twisted together and I'm going to create a little hole for myself right there and just tuck that in and get that bobby pinned to hide those ends. Okay, at this point I'm going to just go in and smooth away any flyaways with the Volume Spray 25 and then just detail around her face and we will be all set.